I definitely was a crazy horse girl before I even knew what that was, I guess, you know. The Tevis Cup is the most famous endurance race in the world. It's 100 miles across the Sierras. One race, one victory, one life-changing moment in time. Sonoma Blakely was riding horses before she could walk. There's pictures of me with my little feet where they couldn't even, you know, just basically sat on the horse's back. Growing up in Terrebonne, for Sonoma, horses weren't just a way of life. Horses were life. They were like our best friends and our playmates. Mostly we would just jump on them bareback, sit on them backwards, crawl underneath them, take them swimming at the, in the pond. I always had that connection with the animals. By the time Sonoma was seven years old, she was entering endurance horse races. An endurance race is anything from 50 to 100 miles. By 12, she was competing at the Western States Trail Ride, or Tevis Cup, as it's commonly called. The most prestigious endurance horse racing event in the world. A 100-mile race that starts in Tahoe, takes racers up and over the Sierra Nevada mountain range, and ends 100 miles later in Auburn, California. You have to be 12 years old to enter. And so when I was 12, I did the Tevis Cup for the first time. And that was, it was an adventure. <laughs> it was uh, quite the race. To be competitive, you have to be a great rider. But you also have to have a great horse. Wow, did you see Goober jump that? You're such a good boy, Goober. Enter Goober, a dark Arabian horse with so much baggage and so many issues that his owner decided to give him away. Placing an ad on Craigslist, offering up the two-year-old for free to anyone that would take him. So much personality. He's got personality for three horses bottled up into one, so he's a character. Sonoma and her family jumped at the opportunity, took Goober in, cared for him, rehabbed him, trained him, and then finally, Sonoma began to race him. He's done just about every mischievous thing a horse can do. He opens the gates, unties everybody. In the winter, he'll be out there ripping horses' blankets. In the summer, pulling fly masks off everybody. And he's a character, but he is a good racehorse. So he's got a lot of heart. In 2019, with a handful of Tevis Cup races under her belt, most of which she and Goober had failed to finish, Sonoma once again entered her freebie Craigslist horse and herself into the race. And as they lined up against riders and horses costing thousands of dollars from across the country and globe, no one paid much attention to the girl from Terrebonne and the horse from Craigslist. I think everybody kind of underestimated me and Goober. They're like, well, hey, where'd you come from, you know? 94 miles into the race, that would all change. The underdog duo from Oregon had somehow caught the leaders, and Goober was ready for more. I passed the group that was, you know, in the lead, and then the last six miles I was racing neck to neck with a racer from a rider from Florida. With one mile left, Sonoma and Goober had passed and dropped all but one racer, Jeremy Reynolds who was already a three-time Tevis Cup champion. The sprint to the finish was on. Goober, he definitely, he gave everything he gave me his heart. After a grueling 100 miles, 19,000 feet of elevation gain, and over 14 hours in the saddle, Sonoma and Goober were neck and neck with Jeremy. They sprinted to the finish, with Sonoma crossing the finish line one horse length ahead. Winning, and in doing so, Sonoma became the youngest woman ever to be a Tevis Cup champion at 18 years old. It took a long time to process. It was something that, it was unreal for so long that I always had to pinch myself and be like, wow, I actually won Tevis, I can't believe that. Now four years later, Sonoma is releasing a book about her improbable victory and her journey to get there. I snuck out of the house in the dark and buried my face in her mane. 
I think writing the book was more of an endurance event than actually riding that 100 miles. Chasing Dreams, the true story of the youngest female Tevis Cup champion, was picked up by a publisher and released last month. It feels unreal. It's something I, even though I knew I was going to eventually be an author or a published author, it was something that every time there would be a bump on the road, I was like, you know what, maybe I should just scrap this whole project. I'll just read it in 20 years when I want to relive my early memories, you know. And so to have stuck through that, I think I'm more proud of just the process of publishing, the journey it took to be published, than actually physically holding my book. One race, one victory, now two dreams realized. I hope it inspires people that if some things aren't just handed to you, but you really have to work for it, but also that, you know, to, to set a dream, to have a goal in life, something to work towards, maybe a passion that you want to pursue. In Terrebonne, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.